on this edition of the AudioCat channel. Everybody always wants to ask, what is it that we don't do at AudioZone? The question is, we pretty much do it all, man. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. We got this young man came in with this boat. He has a Kodiak 200. It's a Polar Crab boat. He had a little build in here, man, that came with the boat. They had a little boss radios and stuff. And he's like, Jeff, what can you do for me to make this sound good? I'll be out in the lake with my wife. I want to be able to hear my music. I want to have a little bit of bass in it. So I started plotting and planning with him. Uh, so when I say plotting and planning, man, what I'm meaning is that I start looking at what the customer needs. I start looking at uh, what my options are available for the unit and what I could do to build this boat. So, or any build. So when I started looking at the options, um, I started getting a feel for what the customer wanted. He told me, Jeff, I don't want nothing out there crazy. I don't want to be out there the boat, you know, out banging everybody. I just want to be there with my wife, man, when we're chilling, have the music playing, you know what I'm saying? Go down the lake, enjoy myself, or when I want to be fishing or whatever. So I said, okay, you know what? I got a build for you. So I came up with doing a Polk Audio 10 Marine subwoofer. The reason I went Polk Audio, it's because Polk Audio makes some ring that works on what they call a free air baffle. Free air baffle means that the boat, it doesn't have to have a box for it to sound good. It could be completely free aired and still give what they call resonance of bass. So when I came up with the Polk Audio, I came up with a course of Nemesis Audio Amplifier, did the um, two speakers that he had in there, which is also available to upgrade to four. I'm working with his budget, so we're doing a single 10 Polk Audio, two Polk Audio five and a quarters, a four channel amplifier from Nemesis that I'm using channel one and two for my, four, my five and a quarters using channel three and four for my subwoofer and since the Nemesis Amplifier has built-in crossovers I can separate everything however I like. Right now um, I gave the product to Josh. Josh is underway with this build and I'm gonna show you exactly what Josh I'm sorry. Oh there goes Joshua. I know he hates it but what are you doing down there Josh? Uh wiring up this amp right now. You're wiring up the amplifier so the build's gonna be we're gonna be throwing some five and a quarters over here. Let's show this here. Right? And then we're down there in that kick panel. You can see that it's free air. It's a box. We're going to be throwing a subwoofer in there that Josh is going to custom do it. And he is throwing an amplifier in here to get all situated. So on this build, let me flip this for y'all. So on this build, we went with the Polk Audio. Uh, I like the Marine equipment, man. I like them. I like Diamond. Um, Diamond Audio Marine. I like the Nemesis Marine, but of course, since we're dealing with Kovic, there is no merchandise nowhere. So for you guys out there who find yourself trying to find stuff and you can't find it, it's everywhere. It's Texas, Florida, excuse me, Texas, Florida, New York. Anywhere you go right now, the merchandising is very low, man. Uh, from what I'm understanding is, of course, um, shipping coming in from overseas is being delayed. People got furloughed, don't want to go back to work. And let's be real, if you make more money on furlough than you do working, would you want to go back to work if you can write another six months? No. That's why they're taking away uh, these furloughs right now. But there's a lot of merchandise stock to docks right now. Customs has a lot of stuff stuck over there, waiting to get released. And companies are fighting because right now a typical freight job, which is to get something from overseas over here, a container was eight grand. Guys, containers have gone up between fifteen and eighteen thousand dollars. I was talking to my friend from Corleone Forge. Uh, they're also having problems with some of the barrels. I mean, it's just hard. Pioneer radios are barely beginning to come out again. Kenwood radios are barely coming out again. But the prices are extremely high because the shipping has gone from eighteen, from sorry, from eight thousand to fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for shipping. So everything has gone crazy in prices. But you know, we get our seats done and we work hard to make sure that our customers are satisfied. So we got this one here going on. And uh, Josh is on it, man. So I'm really excited to see what this guy's gonna see when he gets his boat back. I think he should be very, very happy, very, very excited. He can have the music he wanted and you'll get to enjoy it. So stay tuned on the boat build. All right, guys. So let me walk you into the boat and you guys can see what we've got done here. And y'all can check it out. Check this out, y'all. Tending subwoofer mounted. Nemesis amplifier down there. Radio, speakers. This guy is going to be very happy. I just heard it, I can't give it to y'all because of copyright, but this guy can be extremely happy with this build, man. It sounds amazing is all I can say. Josh, so, huh? Oh, well let's do a no copyright video. Hold on y'all, let me get you going. All right, so now at this point, it's the, Josh, I think it sounds great. So we got the woofer like I showed y'all. We got the amps, everything in there. It sounds great. Let me show you what it sounds like real quick done by yours truly Josh man Josh knocked it out the water on this one man let's see what he's got with. Come on, man, come on, come on, guys. You gotta give it a hey, hey, hey. Did you see yourself out there in the lake with 
this bad boy. I can do it to y'all. It sounds amazing. Y'all are gonna love it, man. Stay tuned. And we give this little look up to it. So we back over here, guys. And we got somebody special in the building. We got the owner of the boat. Say your name for the camera. Gregory Somerville. Gregory Somerville. So now Gregory can about to hear his non-copyrighted music uh, and see what he, I want to see, I'm going to zoom in on his face and see what he feels. Let's see. <laughs> So my question is, Gregory, are you going to be able to enjoy that on the lake now? I'm going to show them the able to enjoy that. This boat came with a, a factory system, but it just didn't have that quality sound that I, that I like to have. But now, and now you're going to be able to jam on the lake, have a good time when you're driving your boat, go with the wife and have good times out there and just have a great time, man. That's what it's all about, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it, though, man. We appreciate you giving us a chance to serve you on this boat. It was a beautiful project, but she is all done, ready to go. So this one is signed, still delivered. Mr. Gregory Somerville is going to take delivery of his boat, man. We're going to thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys all for the support. Y'all be good and God bless. Stay safe, stay positive. Everything is possible for those who believe.